CropX combines advanced cloud technology with affordable sensors in the ground. CropX technology scans your field and analyzes its different zones. CropX, the internet of soil. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with California Ag Network and today at the annual Tree and Vine Expo in Turlock nearly a thousand growers and PCAs gathered to obtain continuing education credits to stay current on what's going on in the industry and naturally with the laws and regulations surrounding pesticide use constantly changing one of our featured speakers was Melanie Fisher from the Stanislaw County Ag Commissioner's Office who addressed the changes in laws and regs moving into 2017. There's the new school notification requirements that right now there's the proposed text is available at the California Department of Pesticide Regulation website has the proposed text. Uh, basically all growers or applicators that are uh, producing an agricultural commodity they're uh, going to be treating anything in those fields whether it's restricted or non-restricted materials there's going to now be a requirement that they provide an annual notification to the school principals that are within a quarter mile of them or if they're going to be doing the application right before they do the application they need to give 48 hour notice again to the school of the specific date of that application and those restrictions will apply uh, Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. that does not apply those regulations do not apply to non-ag settings so if you're a uh, nut processor or uh, doing your rights of way areas, uh, those regulations do not apply to you. It's only for production agricultural settings. Uh, the comment period for that uh, proposed text is open until December 9th. So you can go onto that website and onto the CDPR website and still submit your comments until December 9th. Uh, the next uh, regulation that's actually it's uh, going to be implemented and is rolling out January 2nd of 2017 is the new worker protection standards and uh, there is a lot of lot of changes in there but a, not too far off from what um, many of our growers are already doing um, have already been implementing some of those regulations uh, at that standard already uh, but just a brief uh, update on some of those is uh, no applicator uh, employee may apply pesticides if they're under the age of 18. Uh, anyone um, that has pesticide handlers, uh, 11 or more that share a common uh, decontamination facility, uh, the hazard communication, those A8s and A9 forms are now required to be posted at that decontamination facility. Uh, they also need to be providing not only the, the hazard communication forms, but also the safety data sheets uh, at the decontamination sites as well. Um, if any employee gets ill and has to go to a doctor, there's some additional requirements on the information you need to provide to the doctor's office on uh, safety um, and, and the application specific details. So uh, those requirements include the, the name of the pesticide product, the EPA number, uh, safety data sheets, uh, active ingredient of the chemical uh, that was applied, as well as the circumstances that, that uh, came about to that employee being exposed. Um, and then in addition to all that, there's also the field worker training notifications. Trainings uh, need to be held annually instead of uh, every five years, so that, that's a change there as well. And uh, that's just a brief summary. You can always contact our office to find out more um, about the details of those new proposed texts and regulations that are going to be rolling out this next year. Thank you, Melanie. Stay current on what's going on in your industry by getting on to CaliforniaAgNet.com. I'm Matthew Malcolm, California Ag Network.